Okay, uh, right. Okay, I'm going to talk to you, uh, basically about EDX 2015, okay? Um, on WordPress, I have written a quick review, a quick honest review, um, based on my experience at EDX 2015. Okay, so this was the very first time that I've been to the NEC, which is at Birmingham. So it's a very centralised location. So I would say many people who live like at London were not so keen Eliminate on it at all. all the terrorists. So yeah, Londoners are probably <laughs> not very keen on going to Birmingham to go to EGX. Anyway, so <laughs> um, I gotta tell you, there's a some good things and some bad things about the NEC. First of all, uh, yeah, first of all, uh, the good thing is it looks better than Earl's Court. It's not very dated. It's very modern, so it's very well. It's very well <laughs> organized. I think in terms when I, when I mean by organize I think the signs were there it's very easy to navigate but the bad thing is if you get like public transport say like a, a bus or a train like from Birmingham International Station you gotta walk 10 minutes to the actual event itself um, EGX was held at like holes 20 and hall 19 was when we queue up to get the ticket to get the wristbands basically um so yeah mm -hmm. so if say like if uh, if you get public transport obviously in case if it does get held again next year i think i've got a video basically on how i should get to the event it's a very long walk anyway so I think you're going to need the exercise. Oh. Okay. Well, I don't know what... I don't know what was that, but oh. oh my gosh, no! Okay. I panicked there for a second. <laughs> okay, uh oh, what's this? Alright. Okay, so I'm gonna go through a different way. Oh yeah. I thought there was a different option there. Right, there's another one gone. 17 to go. Okay. Nice one. Okay, so 17 enemies remaining. Uh. All right. Oh, there's another one. Oh. 
Oh, nice, I've got, uh... Right, 15 enemies left to go. See if I can do it. Sure, everybody can do it anyway. Uh, there's barbed wires on the floor. Trap or something? No, I missed that. I kept my eyes off for a second there. Right, so seven kills, so much better. <laughs> anyway, I leveled up, so that's clearance level as well. So again, XP. Alright, um, I'm going to try, um, okay, so now I'm going to try the multiplayer modes, okay, uh, yeah, so carry on from my EGX experience, uh, okay, I think I, I was talking about the venue itself, yeah, I was talking about the venue itself, uh, Okay, um, sorry, stop for a second there. Okay, so, yeah, idiots. Okay, so I'm gonna start from the very beginning. Uh, on day one, when I first arrived at the end, Eliminate all hostiles. Okay, um, I arrived on the bus, and it was very easy to get to the NEC. So, yes. Basically, what is it that I'm, what is it I'm trying to do? <laughs> so basically, when I first arrived at the NEC, okay, it was I get off the bus. Yeah, I got off the bus, okay, and I arrived at some sort of, I was on the outside, it was like um, some sort of little bus stop. Okay, so like, there's like bus stops, and there's the in... And, all, and there's like inside waiting areas. Hmm. And... The first thing I did was walk up the escalator, and then I arrived to like two um, places. There's like there's like a path that leads to towards Birmingham International Airport, and the other goes straight to Birmingham International Station and the NEC. So I took the right because it was on the right, and that's where I need to get to. Then it was ten minutes enduring. Um, ten minutes enduring. <laughs> just walking like going up walking up the stairs and down the stairs there's like a few of them and through travelators as well it's quite a long way to get there until after 10 minutes I was finally there um, we've been told to collect the wristbands at hall 19 which were which uh, which is where I went anyway and it's like um, when I first arrived when I first joined the queue the queue was I wouldn't say massive because I think I got here quite early, but it was very crowded by the time I get back. By the time, obviously, when I was waiting. Uh, so yeah, when um there was like there was like a few stands here. It was some sort of uh, what do you call them? What is it? I just call it stands. I forgot what it's called. So there were like stands where you can uh, show your ticket, uh, uh, show your barcode, and they'll give you a wristband. When I first got my wristband, it was pretty much the same thing. 
but it looked very different. Well, it's got a different colour, different design on it. Uh, the super pacifist bands is like basically. It's basically got stars on it, so. <laughs> it's quite weird, but I don't think it bothered me in the slightest because it's just a super fast because um, I was going to be there for all four days. Um, unfortunately, as soon as I. Uh, as soon as I attached uh, the wristband to my wrist, it snapped completely. Um, so I had to queue up all the way around again, and it was the time when the show was started, so I had to wait for another 10 minutes. And then there was a the nice there was a very nice lady um, who uh, was very kind enough to get me another one. Um, she said to me. Um, they're very cheap material those wristbands are so they tend to break and obviously <laughs> even though I feel it was partly my fault because I may not put it on properly um, she insists that it was their fault because we're, they're not too sure if the wristbands were very reliable so if it breaks obviously it can get another one but luckily mine didn't so I asked her very nicely to put it on my wrist just in case if I'd done anything wrong but she's very kind of me to do so. I can put it on myself, but it's just... Well, it was done the first time. But anyway. Uh, then, I'm finally to get on the show. I was very happy. I was <laughs> quite excited. And then had to decide what I should play first. So, I can't remember what the first game that I played. I'm trying to think what was the first game. Uh, what was it? Mm, i trying to think. I might as well. Uh, the very first game that I've played was in the over 18s area, which is, by the way, um, quite small compared to last year's event, where there's like normally the over 18s area are like upstairs, like on the second floor of Earl's Court. There's like a big escalator, but well, there's like two big escalators anyway. Uh, these are like for over 18s area only. I can't help think, but the hall. This year was, I think, quite is quite smaller than uh, than last year at Earl's Court. There's like two floors, and basically, I feel it's I don't know, I don't know. Maybe it's just me, but yeah, I feel it's quite smaller because everything was on one floor. So that was pretty much it. Um, so okay, but I did over the next four days, over the next few days, I've. Uh, it's hard to actually talk and play the game at the same time because I get distracted very easily. So yeah, when I okay, um, I played a lot of games. Uh, Just Cause Three was the first game that I played, uh, so I queued up for that. And Just Cause 3 was basically the same demo as I played at Gamescon, so this is where... Uh, one mode... Oh, excuse me, I've been so tired today. There's like one mode... <coughs> There's like one mode where you get like a rocket launcher. And you have to destroy as pretty much everything as much as you can. You can destroy like cables and satellites and helicopters and vehicles and other stuff to try and destroy as much as you can and um, the highest that I've got is about 10,000 something so it was quite a lot and there's also another one where you get in some sort of tank and you destroy other vehicles and power stations and other stuff and there's also another mode where you try out your ring suit and you gotta try and fly through the um, circles the rings what I call it anyway so, yeah. Also, I played Assassin's Creed Syndicate. I think basically every single game that I've played is pretty much the same demo as I played at Gamescon. Not gonna lie about it. But, <laughs> so, yeah. Assassin's Creed Syndicate, I've played uh, Black Ops 3. Um, the difference is, is I've played Domination instead of. Uh, what is it? Hardpoint, yeah, the hardpoint mode which I played at uh, Gamescom. 
There's also other games like Halo 5 Guardians, which I played on the last day because I didn't get time to play it. Every time I try to queue for it, obviously, um, obviously, there's like a full queue anyway, so every, every single time. Uh, there's also Mirror's Edge Catalyst, again, played on the last day, and because the queues were always full every time. Um, there's also, I played Rainbow Six Siege, which I'm playing right now. Uh, uh what else? Star Wars Battlefront. That was one of the best So that was, I saw demonstrations of Joe's X, Joe's X, Mankind Division, and, and also, what is it, Hitman, yes, I saw a demonstration for Hitman. And yeah, there's too many. I've tried the uh, Guitar Hero Live, which is uh, obviously I got very used to it. Um, <laughs> I got used to it doing a dem demo, um, so now I've got a feel for it. But I'm not really too sure because you know my fingers. Um, obviously, it's not very flexible as you think it was going to be. So that's going to be quite an issue for me. Uh, but I didn't have time to try out Rock Band 4, which obviously is only have one stage in which you had to volunteer yourself um, to choose which instruments or whether or not you want to be a singer. So, uh, what other games did I play? I'm trying to think here. Uh, what other games? Oh yeah, um, I've attended the developer sessions on Saturday, one of which where Shuhei Yoshida um, talked about his 20 years experience um, for um, PlayStation and explains pretty much the history of um, the PlayStation itself. And also there's another one with uh, Arne Meyer, who's a developer of all the Uncharted games and he discussed uh, how Uncharted became a success. Um, through the story, the art direction, the gameplay, interaction between other characters, and so on. I've actually managed to ask him two questions. One of which is basically, will we ever um, be able to find out more about Sam? Is he really the brother um, he is meant to be? Or hopefully, because if... Uncharted 4 is actually going to be Nathan Drake's last adventure. Surely we got to know about the history, uh, his childhood. We need to know. Obviously, we know the real reason why um, <laughs> Nate ended up um, becoming a fortune hunter because obviously his parents, well, his mum committed suicide and his dad really quest him custody so he gets ended up in the boys' home. And when he ran away from the orphanage, obviously, he saw uh, Victor Sullivan with Captain Marlowe, who she was the villain in Uncharted 3. <laughs> and obviously... Sorry, I took my time with this for the game because I've been. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, uh, so I, as I was saying, um, I've asked uh, him questions based on whether we get to know more about Nate's family, his parents. Will there be another brother? Or is that it? Uh, his, um, his response was um, obviously Uncharted 4 um, will feature the development of the, and the relationship between Nate and Sam. Um, again, he doesn't want to spoil uh, too much because he doesn't want to ruin the story. But um, obviously, um, we will know more about Nate's childhood during the time. So obviously, it's a yes. And then I cheekily enough to ask him one more question. Um, other than Nate him, himself, what is his all-time favourite Uncharted character? And I knew he was going to say Eddie Raja straight away. <laughs> He was he was very happy when I asked him that question. He's like Eddie Raja without question. Um, you can see that um, you can see that recap um, in on the day three video, obviously which I will upload tomorrow. But you can have a look if you type in YouTube and search for Uncharted Retrospective Greatness from Small Beginnings. Um, if you go to 40 minutes 16. Um, my appearance is there. Um, I dressed up as I was in the cosplay costume during the time in which Arnie um, replied to me back on Twitter saying, Thank you. So, yeah. Oh, is that another one? No. Somebody else. Uh, so yeah, he did uh, retweet to me back saying um, that he complimented me on my costume. So he really liked it. Um, I had a few people interested in the costume as well. So I'm very happy with that. I feel like this is not how you play a game. Wait. Oh, that's the outside. Okay, right, so we're gonna go on the inside. Uh oh. Oh. Am I gonna get killed? I can't see. Uh, what am I gonna do? Uh oh, come on, reload quickly. Nope. Push forward. Yes. 13 enemies to go, see if I can do it. I'm doing so well. I've took I took a lot of time with this anyway. Alright, okay, let's see if I can find the other 13. Enemy in range. Oh. Just don't know. You just don't know what's around on every corner. Ah! Quick! Oh, no. So close. Anyway, getting closer. Closer than I thought. Uh, yeah. Um, right, so basically EGX 2015 has been uh, another good year, actually, despite the lows. But, yeah. <laughs> so.
so yeah uh, it's been another good year and I will definitely attend next year okay so I've already started uh, thinking about which cosplay costume I want to go next so there's quite a few ideas so I wanted to try something very different every single year all right okay I'm gonna try the multiplayer I want to try the multiplayer I want to see what that's like Okay, and uh, just a, a reminder to everybody as well, uh, obviously, this, every time I stream something on Twitch, it has to be streamed over 360p, because, well, the reason is because I have to, obviously, because I want to work on the stream at the same time, so... That's why it's not going to be the highest quality that you're going to be. But sometimes I do record gameplay videos at uh, the highest, at the highest quality possible. So I think most of the videos are 720p, by the way. So yeah. Okay, I'm going to see if I could find a match. So there's like three other players and there's me but still searching for one more player I'm gonna go see if one of my buddies actually wanna come play multiplayer with me Ah, here we go, finally. Got in. So this is Team Deathmatch, isn't it? Gosh, I feel like I'm going to have a tummy ache very soon. And we're going to search for more players who's going to be... Obviously, I don't know if I'm going to be playing on the attacking side or on the defending side. I've no idea. Now see, just to remind everybody, this is a beta, obviously. Servers may not be perfect all the time, so I kind of expect that. So, no big surprise. Ah, here we go. So, I'm part of the orange team. Someone's part of the blue team. Oh, yeah. Okay, so Team Dev Match, this is a secure area. Okay, so the first round, I have to defend, and then... Okay, let's see. SAS. Spetsnaz.
barbed wire. Surf is gone. <laughs> Just as we're about to get ready for a match. Already. Oh, man. Uh, okay. Got to try again. Hopefully, because I'm on the time limit. So, I'm going to try. <coughs> oh, in case you're wondering, I sneezed, so... Excuse me. I do apologise. If you don't like the sound of my sneezing, unless you want to record that, and add that to your videos. As a matter of speaking, I've got one more. I've got one more video for EGX 2015 to edit, uh, which is going to be quite a lot. Every time I look back at my old EGX videos, I just feel like time gone past really, really quickly. Um, I first attended Eurogamer uh, 2013, uh, which I've attended to for two days. I think I've attended Thursday and Friday. And obviously, because at the time, well, I did have a job at the time. But uh, I didn't have much money, so I've already spent a little. And then, as by next year, my. Yeah. Uh... Oh, gosh. I'm no good at speaking, obviously. Public speaking is not one of my forte. Uh, so yeah, when I look back, it's just sort of, um, I just sort of get a bit overwhelmed. Is anybody else playing Rainbow Six Siege? How was it for you? How was the beta? Was the experience uh, live up to your expectations? Do you have high hopes that this game is going to go do well? Because this has been like seven years since the last uh, Rainbow Six game uh, came out. So it's been a while. And after that, um, obviously, it's the Division, which is basically a survival-based uh, RPG, open-world RPG, in which you have to communicate with each other. You can choose to go against them. You can be a bastard. Um, like early on E3, <laughs> I can't believe someone's been the right asshole. You'll see, anyway, but... Oh gosh, I have no time for waiting around. Okay, well, we'll just... I'll just leave the multiplayer for now and just move on to... Let's play terror. Let's play terrorist hunt again. Do it on my own. I'm gonna be a lone wolf. One thing that strikes me odd is that with Terrorist Hunt, um, it's only up to four players, but for some reason there's like five spaces. Normal. 
Oh, I've messed up again. I was, su I was supposed to change the matchmaking style. Quit. Okay, and payday tomorrow. Woohoo! Yes, I'm looking forward to that. That means new games coming out in October. Uh, there's quite a few that I want to get, but I've decided in October time I'm going to be live streaming for Uncharted Nathan Drake Collection and Assassin's Creed Syndicate. November is Call of Duty Black, Black Ops 3. Fallout 4 and Star Wars Battlefront and December is probably just cause three actually December is probably when um, I'll be getting the next box for Christmas or my birthday yes and I get a load of junk mail shit in in my Google mail uh, uh, right Oh, I like the AK-12s. Okay, random cards. Right, so let's play this one more time. Um, with terrorist hunt it was originally going to call terror hunt but it's not going to be eliminate all of the terrorists okie dokie right let's uh let's see if i can end the show end the stream by getting rid of all the terrorists right uh, here we go so this is where i need to be let's see if i could Right. Come on. Oh. Uh, okay. How am I going to do that? I'd rather not use my primary weapon. No, I'm gonna die. Don't. Yes. Vault. I'm in a. I'm in a. I'm in a child's bedroom. So many barbed wires everywhere. It's gonna slow you down. Right. That's two. Back, get back, get back. Alright, well done. Someone's gonna throw a grenade. There's more of them in here. I destroyed the barbed wire. How does it do that? Wait, is that it? Gotta be. Just saying that. Ah, there we go. Right, so, there you go. There's gotta be some refill packs. Let's see if I could do better. Um, I think I've had like 12 terrorists left remaining. On my go. Oh shit. Gotta get out. Enemy 
<laughs> Didn't even. Do that for? I destroyed everything on impact. Yes, that's fine. Let's nice headshot. Right, let's. Uh... Where did this come from? This would be a nice cover place. We've got 15 terrorists to go. There we go. Someone's down the bottom of the stairs. 14 left. And I'm going to keep on refill supplies. So basically, it's not just your primary weapon. It's basically everything. Everything. Right. Okay. I think the main ones might be downstairs. Thirteen to go. Someone is in that bedroom. Twelve. That's my record set. Oh. Oh my gosh. Quick, get up. Eleven to go, eleven to go. Right, let's see if I can do this. There's one. Ready, set, go. Gosh, I've got 15 health left. Is there a way I can recover? I don't think, no, you don't think you can. So I'm in real danger here. Right, let's see. Right. Nine to go. Oh my god, this is so dense. You've got that much health left and you've got nine terrorists to go. Yes. Eight to go now. Oh no, wait, get out, get out. Get out. Enemy movement on the ground floor! A guy in the ground floor! Yes, yeah, seven to go. Right. Come on. I need to go refill supplies. I wonder if there's a I wonder if there's a health aid kit somewhere. I really don't wanna risk it. I gotta try find somewhere that is not too open. You gotta watch your back every single second. Ah, here we go. 
someone. There we go, six to go. This is very intense. Very intense. Oh no. Uh, hold on a second. Uh, is it gone? My charger. Okay, right. Oh gosh, this is. This is intense. That's where the remaining ones are. Just ah, uh, never mind. Very close, though. Very close. I've only had <laughs> five enemy, five terrorists left to go. So I had 17 kills already. Okay, all right. Okay, um, right, so that's it. That's my hour of the stream done. Um, so, yeah. Anyway, thank you so much for watching the stream. Uh, what am I going to say now? <laughs> okay. Um, tomorrow, all the EGX 2015 experience um videos will be uploaded onto my channel so look out for titan war, war 93 uh, okay or deep blue speed 93 i think um because that's my old name i don't want to make another new channel i just want to keep my old channel um there's also more streams to come as well i'll be playing uh, different games um the next stream that i'll be doing will be metal gear solid Five, the Phantom Pain, and then later this month it'll be Uncharted: Navy and Drake Collection, and Assassin's Creed Syndicate is well coming later this month. So, anyway, okay, that concludes the stream for um, tonight. So, thank you so much uh, for watching. Um, this is uh, this has been Titan War Night Three. Uh, enjoy the rest of the week. I'll be back on stream Friday. So. Anyway, thank you for watching. Um, have, enjoy the rest of your day. I'll see you later. Bye bye. Oh gosh, that computer is doing my nothing! <laughs>